uh, now's the time on Game Scoop when we play video game 20 questions. Uh -oh. Our suggestion this week comes from Keenan McClelland. Ooh. Ooh. McClelland? Like with a D at McClelland, the McClelland, yes. Ooh. Uh, and Justin did remember to uh, bring his suggested first questions. And also, Jared has been doing some uh, training to wow. hopefully perform better on, on video. Okay, well, well you're both way better prepared than I am. <laughs> this, these come from Dugzer. Yeah. And it's been a long running joke that he sent us this thoughtful list of first questions that I consistently forget and yeah. leave on my desk. And then someone uh, tweeted me a gift this morning, an animated gift that said, Justin, don't forget the questions. Yeah. And then wow. he did forget them, but I reminded yeah. him. Well, yep. you didn't need to. I You're did. such a gracious host. You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really goofed him on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let the questioning begin. Do you play as more than one character in this game? No. All right. It's Good not time. GTA, guys. All right, there we go. It's not a fighting game. It's not GTA. Mm. That's actually, that's a good question. I know, I was like the year one. Can I do the year one? You do, of course you do the year one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so nice. what is it? Is it before January 1st, 2000? Is that what I you usually do whatever you want. After. You can do what you want. Yours. But was it released after January 1st, 2000? Yes. Ah, Ooh, there we it's go. It's GTA. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Is this... Um, was this game released for the PS3, Wii, Xbox 360 generation? No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't like that, because now it splits. It could have been earlier or yeah. later. I know, that was probably a bad choice. Was yeah. this game released uh, in the same era as PS4, Xbox One, Wii U? No. All right, well, so it is early. Okay. So, so late, late-ish yeah. PS2 so game. Either, so either very end of even like Dreamcast. End of '64 theoretically. No, right? wait, I take it back. Not late-ish. When did the the PS2 came out? 2001. Yeah. Dreamcast uh, 2001. No, Dreamcast yeah. 99. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, but yeah, Dreamcast, PS2, uh, GameCube, original yeah. Xbox, original Xbox, Xbox yeah. PC, and. GBA. And not necessarily tail oh, end of the... Yeah, portable. No, those consoles didn't come out until like 2002, so it's that entire console generation, in fact. But yeah. like portables are what mix it up. Because he's yeah. right that like GBA's in there. Yeah. Was this a, is this, you know, commonly thought of or considered as a portable game? No. Okay. All right, so well, thank five you. Five minutes. <laughs> so like, all right, great. Um, probably not an arcade game from that period. Let's see. Uh, do we want to do genre? Do we want to... Is genre's often... A, a we could do... Us. We could do... Company like we could eliminate Nintendo or Microsoft. Like, well, is if it, we want, we, if you do that, what, you want to go oceans first. So I'll do, do exclusive. It, do, like, it, is it, do it. Do it. Is it a console exclusive? No. Okay. okay. Not a console exclusive. Excellent. Very exciting. A lot of games made during that period of time. All right. We so know nothing. Yeah. We know nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not Six completely <laughs> positive on whether it's an N64 or yep. PS1 well, game. Yep. Probably not. Probably a PS2 uh, game. Not was a this game. Oh. I can only know if it's available on a disc or a cartridge. Well, that, there are very few cartridges. It's also not a yes or no question. So yeah, it's, like, it's, not a, it's not a cartridge yeah, game because we know it's not handheld. It would, that would only give us in 64. 64. Yeah, 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 but yeah there which barely survived. survived in yeah, that there's generation. like three games. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, let's let's try uh, let's try genre. Is this uh, is this game experience from first person? No. Okay. Is this? Uh, oh, I don't got it. I don't okay. got it. So it's uh, it's. Uh, it can do you be play as a do you play as a person? Yes. Huh? A human being. You're not a ship. Not a ship. Mm -hmm. You're a human. That's useful, definitely. All right. So you're a person that's not a first person shooter. I'm trying to think of one of the, the system that would bridge the most gaps. Well, again, if we narrow it, we're, we're already what seven questions, eight questions in. Eight questions in. And Oof. we we know the era. We know it's not exclusive, so let's not focus on system. Maybe I mean, harness your training, Jared. Harness the training. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm saying we're, we don't want to get caught up on figuring out the system if it's not a console exclusive. So this could be on PC. This could be. You could ask about control. <laughs> I thought it said a robot. You don't play multiple <laughs> characters. That's actually very helpful. It's not like an RTS because in an RTS you'd be playing multiple do characters. Do you? Yeah. Uh, uh, does this game have? Person. Does this game have punching and kicking? Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. If it does, like that's not a major mechanic at all. Okay. Punching and kicking. And you are playing as a person. Yeah, you play as a person. Play as a person. Third person. Third person. No punching and kicking. Yeah. And you only play as that one character, so yeah. that eliminates like RPGs and stuff. Like, yeah, it, it eliminates VII, most of the RPGs. It eliminates okay. fighting games. It eliminates RTSs, um, or almost well, all so RTSs. So if you're not punching or kicking, you're probably either platforming or uh, or shooting. Yeah. Or wait, I. I, I mean, there's only so many, so much vocabulary. Or wait, to, there's also what about Pikmin? Like, oh, you're one guy. You're Olimar. Yeah. You're moving stuff around. It's the right period of time. No, but it's not an exclusive. 
Ah, it's an exclusive. That's right. Yeah. Do you? Uh, is this yeah, a shooty game? Yes. Third person shooty game. That's Ooh. that's ten. Third or two D. Third person or two D shooting game. Shooty game. So you know the time period. It's mm-hmm. in. Yeah. yeah. You know. Early two thousands. You play as a person. Yeah. In third person. Yeah. It's a shooty mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not an exclusive. Mm-hmm. Not an exclusive. Mm-hmm. Console exclusive. That could be. And it's theoretically before two thousand and five yeah. because. Yeah. And it's not a portable. Yeah. It's not a portable. Could be Resident Evil. Um. See. Could be Resident Evil. Yeah, it could be Resident um, Evil. Like is time. this a Japanese developed video game? No. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> um, that oh, cuts dang. Out. Yeah, it's all Konami, that's all Capcom. Just killed like nine of my questions. All, no, that's great though, because it's, now we know it's, um, it's American or European developed. But also, it's Resident Evil is in the 90s. I mean, unless it's one of the like Resident Evil Veronica. Four. Like, well, Resident Evil 4. 4, four. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, is an influential, not first person shooty type game. For I'm trying to think of third person shooters on like Dreamcast. I'm trying to think oh, there of was a lot of stuff. Really well known multi platform games of the year. Because I'm like, oh, Metroid Prime. Although that's first person. Right. Exactly. I mean, they're it's all, kind of like, everything I can think of. It's like Halo, they're all yeah. exclusive. Well, they could, this could be something that was on PC and. Halo, Halo did get a port, but I don't think Damon would do that to us. He wouldn't do us. Like, but that's also a first person game. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a third person game with shooting. You're not punching and kicking, so it's not Fallout because you punch and kick people in Fallout. Um, Virtual Cop. First person. I can only picture first person yeah, games me too. for some reason. Yeah. Third person. I can only think of Fallout. console yeah. exclusives. It's driving me crazy. Next, uh, next question. question. Remember, Jared, the podcast see. listeners I'm cannot not see you. Um, you know, yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> They're just. Um, <laughs> huh. uh, is this game. Oh, wait, we could ask about it being scary. We could ask about like more. We could get more. Let's genre try and get more genre on, focused. More yeah. genre focused. I feel like that it. would help. Yeah. Is this uh, is this game spooky? Is this a spooky game? Yes. Ah, there we go. There we go. That helps a lot. Silent. Okay, so Silent Hill is the oh, fire firearms. Yeah. But okay, so what's the spooky American a game? Spooky American game. Where's Chloe? Someone yeah, text Chloe. <laughs> Phone a friend. We'll use our <laughs> lifeline, David. All right. So it's not Silent Hill. It's I actually not, never said it was American made. You said no, it's not so Japanese. Oh, it could be European. Oh, European. Just to clarify. Or any other. It's not some like the only far, place on Earth Some other far-off land. Yeah. One of those far Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> that would have been uh, helpful. At, uh, man, at I really think about Japanese, you know, at Spooky least games. as the horror game masters. Let's see. Yeah. Um, we have, what, what's, uh, it was Amnesia Japanese? Amnesia uh, comes to mind. Uh, that's Amnesia's wrong Amnesia's first person. Yeah. yeah. That's my first person. Um, we just late, made a right? list of these. Uh, you killing, uh, zero, you killing, you killing zombies in this game? No. No zombies. Right. Were zombies a big thing in 2000? I mean, Resident Evil. Frame is oh, Japanese. Yeah, oh, it's knockoffs. Um, oh, I'm thinking of the wrong area. Spooky. What's spooky? We've, we've probably alien. played this. Oh, yeah, there is Alien. Ooh, yeah, Alien, spooky. yeah. But I don't know what ones there were was at that time. I mean, I'm thinking of third-person shooter. Could this not be like a side-scroller? Yeah, it could be. Like, like I think I'm maybe thinking it's like, too. It's like Oddworld and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. Oddworld Stranger's Wrath was like maybe. Around yeah, but that's that not really. Time. Stranger's Wrath's not really spooky. No, but that's the type of game yeah. that we could be. No, I wasn't meaning to be critical. It was just... Well, I felt very attacked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we've got what we need now. We got a spooky Ooh. game from that period. Do we? we Jared it feels very. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got Jared's ready to go. <laughs> no, we've, we've got we've got what we need. Um, You're not shooting zombies though. So what are you shooting? Yeah, well, that's that's another thing. What what dinosaurs? Uh, ghosts? What's scary? What dinosaurs? Ghosts? Monsters? Hacking, slashing things. Dino- debt. Uh, what's that? Debt. Debt yeah. is frightening. Debt's <laughs> incredibly scary. Relationships. I feel like yeah, yeah, I love something being, being vulnerable in our faces here. <laughs> Um, we can oh. ask about PC, but I don't know if we want to. We ask nah, about console nah, exclusive, but I don't nah, think we should. That's nah. a wasted question. Uh, let's think about interface control. Ooh. Does this game have a jump button? Uh, I cannot answer really that. I can't answer that question. So does that mean question. we kill that question? Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, kill, yeah, that question doesn't question. never it doesn't count. All right, um, so the way we stall time is by dead. saying, is there a jump button over and over again? <laughs> yep, that's good. Yo, but let's, uh, let's go back to that jump button. <laughs> you play as one person. Oh, so that eliminates Resident there's Evil, gun, actually. There's gun, yeah, there's, you, there's, you play as one, well, already. Well, that's already, because it's time. not Japanese death. So yeah. Not, yeah, we know it's not, it's not survival horror. Ooh, I like that one, actually. Well, no, never mind, that wouldn't help me eliminate it much. Um, it's too late to Do you think be... it would, like, real-time versus turn-based, or, like, how you play the game, oh, or, like, fun. mechanical genre a little bit, like, pers- like, perspective? We don't really know the perspective. So we, we should think about, is first it... First person, yeah. Yeah, we should, we should we ask if it's side-scrolling? Is this game played from a 2D perspective? No. Okay, so... 3D third-person game. 
Mm-hmm. Spooky Tomb Sp- Raider? Oh, I've got it. Spooky I've got platform it. It's shooter. Eternal Darkness, I'll bet. Uh, we're not asking Damon that yet, but I'll bet you it's Eternal Darkness. Um, it's not developed. In, it's developed in Canada. It fits the genre. It fits the time period. Was it, it multi platform? It was, it was a GameCube wait, exclusive, was GameCube wasn't it? Exclusive, wasn't it? Jeez, wait a minute. Or did it come out someplace else later? No, I think it was only GameCube. All right, I'm trying to think of third-person games other than like Tomb Raider and Resident Evil that were out around that time. Uh, do you mind if I, I? I don't want to burn a question, but I want to ask a lot. You like, did all the training, dude. You should burn every question. Sure. All right. Does this game have mystical themes to it? No. Okay, so it's not magic and monsters and shit like that. All right. That's 15. So. That's 15. Spooky, but not <laughs> Why do we never win anymore? What, what the hell happened? No, to there's, we're <laughs> we used to win every week. This. You need Sam Clutch Claiborne. Yeah. We do yeah, need Sam Clutch Claiborne. He's oh, our, yeah. That's like, that's like extra. This is the point of the show where this, I would this, normally this, give up. But Yeah, but yeah. This, is, this is time period is not uh, Sam's junk. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got to. Okay, that's I what played I, a I lot of like, games around this time. I, I feel like too, that's what I'm yeah. missing now is I need to send myself back to, like, okay, I'm, okay, I'm so you're, 16, 17 you're, you're years old. You're high school Justin Davis. You're, you're yep. fending off all the women. You're just drinking after school. Stay away, ladies. Go home. Sit down for of a console, and what are you playing? Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> Why are you smoking a cigarette? <laughs> okay, it's not. It's Wind too, Waker. Yeah. It's too late for Phantasmagoria. That's not um, Phantasmagoria, yeah, dude. Could it be Tomb Raider? I keep saying Tomb Raider. Um, Could it be Tomb Raider? But how spooky Tomb is Tomb Raider? Tomb Raider is not spooky. I, Tomb Raider's, I think caves are very spooky. Yeah, I do think it'd be the nice to know. Like, I wish That's I right. knew more about the vocabulary of how you interact with the game. Like, is it only shooting, or is it puzzly, or is it? Well, you could ask one. You could ask five questions. questions. Do you do you solve puzzles in this game? Uh, there. Uh, I'm not going to answer that one. Def- I, I can't say definitively. Okay. Uh, that's hard. I mean, if is there, there is, a like, jump button? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to ask about how it was received? Like, if no. It, no, they were always well received. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, we've had it. I feel like, like if it's on this list, we've, we've had probably, we've had some crappy ones. Yeah. Okay. We did uh, Jaws recently. All right. So what do we? We could not, ask about license. Should we ask about? about Oh, is it a license game? That's not a bad idea. We've done it, but that that's or off could we ask? Is this franchise still active today? Could we do that? Is this a franchise that there's still new games in today? Can I ask that? I don't know, you do all the training, I'm very nervous. Okay, that usually gets us in trouble, but I'm starting to get desperate here. All right, is this a franchise that is still active today? What do you mean by still active today? Are games still coming out in this franchise? There, or has there been a game in this franchise in the PS4, Xbox One generation? No. It didn't really help that much. <laughs> no. no was... I mean, it kind of does, because it eliminates like all that games stuff, that got yeah. big sequels. Yeah. Four questions left. I feel like this is, it's not Afraid of the Dark or Alone in the Dark. Third it's person spooky shooter from third the person spooky early shooting. 2000s. It's not Japanese. Man. Multi-platform. Japanese. You play as a person, one person. You play as a yeah. person, you do, but it's not first person. I'm trying to think about something yeah. like Evil Within, like a Resident Evil-y knockoff, yeah. but from yeah. like But from an American time. or European. Yeah, I keep thinking of the things like Carrier. I, I, I thought we had it with Eternal What Rose, are, okay. So, um, I don't know if Dano's no magic. No trying zombies. to be clear, or if it was a hint to think beyond America. Yeah. But it might what are European studios? That it doing? could be either. Is this here? Is that Damon could be trying to help us. I or it just is an American studio, yeah. and he's just throwing mud in the water. <laughs> Do, well, you mentioned Tomb Raider. What else was Idis doing around then? I don't know. Nothing. Um, Nothing. Yeah. Or, or Was there anything going on? No, because it like, couldn't be like Hitman. Because, it's, not yeah. a fir- it's the fact that it's not a first, because there were things in first person that would fit, too. But... Um, Wow. The fact that there's no entries now yeah. feels and like the, that should... The fact that it's not mystical eliminates any of the kind of early yeah. RPG. Like yeah. That, that yeah. lends me to think that it's not a spooky RPG or like you know any numbers-based So there's game. no zombie... Oh, wait. What about... Did Grasshopper do anything spooky or that? They're no, Japanese. that's Japanese again. Yeah. I keep going to... Ah, man. Nobody does spooky outside of Japan. Yeah, what's wrong with Japan's like, the spookiest place on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty spooky. <laughs> We could right. try for license, but I wonder if we're... I don't even know if that would help me at this point, though. I don't know. I don't know. Can I go to a bar? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, In the game or just now? Shooting. Either. <laughs> what would you be shooting if you're not shooting... When did Condemned come out? Was that was that 360? Condemned that was, or Fear? Fear's first person. Yeah. Condemned is also first person. And those are also later, Condemned, I think. Yeah, I think well, Because this would be... a 360 this, launch game. So three, PS3 was 2006... So Xbox 2005. So this is between theoretically 2000 and 2005. Mm-hmm. Right. It's most likely a GameCube PS2 original Xbox game. Yeah. Yeah. We could ask if it was available on one of those. I mean, 
PS2, everything was on. But this, wasn't. this, I don't know. I want to know more about what you're shooting. Are you fighting? Are you? It's the primary. You you, uh, you got a lot of ghosts in this game. They're ghosts. No, no ghosts. I would. I would no. say. What do you mean no? Why? Do you, do you shoot other humans? This is the question I would say. Because that uh, could be a military game. Yeah. 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 Or robots. Robots are evil. Or yeah. aliens. Aliens. Yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. It's all right. You want to ask about sci-fi? Themes? Three questions sure. left. Oh, this is sci-fi totally theme game. This. Yes. Okay. Whoa, that's a really big hint. Yeah, it's really. But big. it's not like System Shock or anything like that because they were. Yeah. It was first person. I yep. mean, it's something System like that. Too. What other spooky space station games are there? Yeah, I'm wondering if I didn't play this. I'm starting to be like, oh crap, what if this is one of my blind spots? Two um, questions left. One, sounds like something that would have been on PC. We like, should use these for this guesses. Is such a PC well, sound. You, 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 you only get one guess. You only get twenty questions total. So. Yeah. yeah. Was that that's Dead Space is two, no and that's, that's three sixty yeah, yeah three sixty I thought yeah. about Dead Space but that's yeah Dead that's Space later. is a little too late but that's yep. a good guess good guess John um, good guess God yeah his <laughs> voice coming out of there <laughs> sci-fi thing I mean we talked about the Alien franchise it could be I mean should we, should what about no AVP was too, oh wait there was the reissue of AVP in two thousand there Damon, was that Damon wouldn't do us like and that's that. a first person shooter again that doesn't work that's first person there are like no uh, third person games. Now, there is, and we're going to feel so. Ape Escape. <laughs> <laughs> we got to number 20, and Damon's like, I just made this game up. <laughs> it's called See, Shooty Science. Uh, it's not Descent. <laughs> it's first person. It's not. Oh! Uh, thinking about what I played. I played Quake 2. Fortress, I played Lord. Lord, I played Lord. What's this? What's this? <laughs> Jared's gone into the wizard state. I feel like Jared's gonna step out of it. It's gonna be pitch black in here. Someone's going like sweeping the floor. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 you said pitch black. When, when did Riddick come out? When did Riddick come out? No, was that was that original Xbox? Riddick was first person. Riddick was first person. Yep, you're right. That doesn't work. I right. give up. You got. You can ask one more question to and get a detail. Okay, well, let's let's try to narrow it down. We know it's a sci-fi game. Yep. In third person. Um, we could ask, it, guns. We ask if it's licensed. Do you want to try? Yeah. Is, is it a license game? Yes. Whoa. Okay. We okay. have to get this. We have everything we need. You. It, I don't think we're gonna. It is it. a licensed. Third person shooter from the early 2000s. Sci fi, no ghosts. Sci fi themed. No ghosts, no zombies. Not an exclusive. What happens? What's, what are scary things that happen on other planets? Let's just talk. Okay, so. Why what, do you think it has to be another planet? Uh, I don't know, because it's sci fi, but it could be not. It could be other future planet. on our planet. Yeah, it could be. Well, let's talk about movies that came out around that time and TV shows. And I mean, there's The Matrix. Uh, it's not that, because that's not spooky. Battlestar Galactica, Lost. Uh, Galactica, Lost. Um, <laughs> it's, it's Lost via. No, because that was 360. Lost via Dome. We talked about Riddick, uh, but Riddick's first person. Yeah. Otherwise, and there's you punch people in Riddick. Event Horizon um, was around then. Oh, there was Event Horizon. Jeez. I hope he's just describing Event Horizon. Huh? Maybe yes. The movie. <laughs> this yeah. is the rare film category. In so it, it was on everything. You shot guns yep. at space creatures. We're and describing the whole game. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this could be an alien game. I. That, that That's the thing that keeps coming to mind. Or a predator. Was there a predator game around this period? I don't know. I don't know. All right, if we're not going to get there. I give up. I can reveal the game. All right, reveal it. What do we got? You're not going to guess? Uh, I'm going to see it's an guess. alien game. It is an alien game. Yeah. Uh, released in 2002. Okay. Developed by Computer Artworks, which is no longer in business. Published by Black Label Games, which is no longer in business. For PS2, Xbox, PC, single player, licensed game. It was a commercial success, got good reviews. The Thing. Oh, oh weird. Oh, First be- off, giving that piece of crap good reviews <laughs> hey, is good a reviews. crime against humanity. I didn't give it an 8.5. Oh, well, I don't IGN, think I've ever seen The Thing game. Okay, The Thing game misses the point of The Thing. So this <laughs> it's is a sequel to the movie. I played this. It's a sequel to the it's movie. Yeah, okay. It takes place so, after the movie. Yeah, what? so the, the Thing game misses the point because The Thing is all about paranoia, but in The Thing game, they try to make it about paranoia, except you can have a guy in your sight the whole time, test him, and then keep him in your sight, and then later on, like the alien jumps out of him. Yeah. Like, the he game, turns the out to be was, the monster. It missed the point of not trusting The game people. was kind of busted where it was scripted for characters. Have you you've seen the movie? Oh, yeah. So it was scripted so that characters would, uh, you know, the monster would burst out of them, you know, four hours into the game or six hours into the game. Yeah. But Jared's right where you could test them and then they would not be infected until... You know, the moment where they're supposed to become infected, suddenly they're infected. Yeah. The, the best thing it about the thing is the, the super old 
like before even the the Carpenter movie we talked about, there's the, the super old thing one. from another Earth or thing from another world or whatever. And there's this moment where the alien comes and it makes a loud noise and all the people fall to the ground, but there wasn't actually a loud noise. So there's a dog that's just sitting there, like no. <laughs> it just doesn't react. I just <laughs> watched the thing for like the six hundredth time about yeah. a week ago. Did you, did and, you see uh, the theory about the end of the movie where where he's po- taking a swig? From yeah, the yeah. Uh, so I just saw the gasoline maybe. Oh yeah. man, if you do you not know this? I mean, I saw he drinks whiskey. No, I don't so know the there's, there's the, the two guys left. Alive. There's Kurt Russell and uh, what's his name? Goliath. And the, he's Goliath. Been, the guy that does the voice for Goliath. Oh, okay. I his name. And Keith, Keith, something? Keith David. They Keith killed. David. They killed the thing by throwing the Molotov cocktails at him, and then he takes a swig of the whiskey and gives it to the other guy, and he takes a swig of the whiskey. And the theory is that that's not whiskey. That's another Molotov cocktail. And Kurt Russell is testing. It's uh, testing weird. him, and he doesn't know. Like he doesn't know what whiskey's supposed to taste like <laughs> or what it's supposed to do because he's infected. But, and he takes a drink of it, and then the movie ends with Kurt Russell knowing that he's he's infected too. Maybe, but doesn't Kurt, Kurt Russell drink from it too? So he's, yeah, he's gasoline. Testing, he's testing. He doesn't it. even like react to it. No, he's testing. He's doing it deliberately. Okay, he's I mean, taking a swig of the gasoline, saying, mm, "Here, you have some." It's a fun fan theory. I prefer yeah. that movie ending ambiguously. I love the idea that it's just kind of like, "Well, we're too tired to deal with this crap anymore. Let's just die." Also, I like <laughs> the idea of drinking. Drinking gasoline as like a pop rocks and coke thing, where it's just like, just like burp fire. <laughs> and there's other clues like that's summing up. Like you see him, you know, that guy leaves and comes back at one yeah, point. He does like disappear. it's, I don't even really think it's a fan. I think it's crazy plausible that that's like real. We had we had the tools to to pick that game out, but I think that game really, I think the game was so forgettable that um, I I mean we had all the right info and we we well, worked it. I thought maybe you would guess it. that I would pick. A Halloween, Halloween themed game. Oh, that's right. yeah. true. This week, I yep. see. I'm not even that smart. <laughs> if no. I was like today, I was like, "Why is Polygon doing a Let's Play of PT?" And Marty was like, "It's Halloween weekend, you idiot." And you have <laughs> made no. no secret of your love of the thing in many yeah. conversations. Yeah. So, if I would have, uh, if we would have landed on licensed earlier, we could have been like movie license. Or yeah, lo- you know, yeah. long running brand. I think or... is it licensed is a really good. That's a really good like around nine or ten question because yeah. I feel like you've already narrowed down. Yeah. There. I, honestly, I feel like our question line of questioning this time was stronger than it's been in. Weeks. Like we were at the right spot, <laughs> we just didn't land on the property. Well, I, uh, I I am happy that we bookended this show by talking about weird fan theories. That's true. From yeah. Bruce Wayne to I the like thing. that symmetry. Yes, mm. same. I wanted you to ask if you are shooting aliens in the game, which is true. But then you would have got caught up thinking yeah. about alien, the actual movie Aliens. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would have been. Oh man. True. And I don't remember if you can punch and kick. In yeah, the I don't game remember. Or, or don't prob- you can. And there's probably light puzzle solving, but I don't really remember that being a part of yeah. the game. Anyway. Mm. Yeah, I think I we know. all learned a lot today. We I think we did. We had fun. We had a good time. We had yeah. fun, and that's what really matters. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Also that the audience had fun. Yeah. Yep. We hope. I hope you did have fun. That is all the scoops that we have for you this week. Remember, you can always reach us at the email address, gamescoop at IGN.com. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Jared. My name is Damon. This is IGN Gamescoop, and we're out.